You see him? <gasps> Pink Barber. That is a rare moment, guys. Oh my goodness, guys. Th okay, we got a jackpot, guys. Look at this. Hey guys, David Fine and Lorenzo. We are here from Keys Moths. Bam. And we are down in southmost Dade County. We're out in a hammock, a pine rockland hammock. Guys, we're looking for something very specific. It's in winter. We are looking for our mascot, the faithful beauty. We're gonna walk around this pine hammock. We've known them, we've known to see them here, and we're gonna see if we can find one and see if we can show you one. Guys, uh, hope you liked the video. If you give us a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe, check us out. Let's see if we can find yep. Faithful, Faithful Beauty, Beauty. Composia Fidelissima. Check it out. So we're gonna look for something very special today. I didn't lock it. See, and down here in Homestead, as much as I love Homestead, gotta lock our doors when we're out in the woods walking around. And you should never go out in the woods walking around alone. Guys, we're gonna go look for Faithful Beauties. Yes, Composia Fidelissima. After the hurricane, this place was pretty trashed, um, but, we're gonna go and see if we can find some Composia. And what you're gonna see, Lorenzo, you know, there's a lot of poison ivy in this place, tons of it. So you gotta be careful. I made, made sure you wear long sleeves, long pants, because we've got poison ivy. Look, we got poison wood. We've got a zebra long wing. Um, but guys, look at all the poison ivy all over the place all over the place poison ivy yeah it's in it's usually growing up the trees but the host plant for this butterfly for this moth the faithful beauty also is a vine just like poison ivy here and it kind of looks like it but it's going to be growing up the trees as well and we're going to show you the difference on how to find it look at all the poison wood this this is like an itchy place guys i'm starting to itch already and we've, we're just starting. So, guys, we're gonna go and see. Usually, the the devil's the devil's potato is the plant we're looking for. Um, it usually likes a little bit more of a clearing, a cleared area in these pine rocklands down here in uh, in Dade County. So the, back here, they they actually burned this area a little while back. So we're gonna go and see if there's any back there because I don't see any right now. All I'm seeing is poison ivy. And it's literally growing out like this into the sides of the path. So, Renzo? Yes, sir. Let's be careful. Let's not bring home any poison ivy or poison wood. Okay, so, Lorenzo, what we're going to do is we're going to check these devil's potato vines. And the very dead. best scenario would be the undersides of the leaves. There would be either little yellow clusters of eggs or little clusters of pink caterpillars. So we're gonna check these vines. They grow up trees, they grow in the grass, um, they grow in the bushes. So we just gotta try to walk around this pine hammock and see if we can find any of this stuff growing anywhere, okay? okay. Let's see what we can find. Let's, let's start on the path. Right now, I'm videoing a very rare moth, guys. Where is it? There it is. It's. It's Centomedia, oh, what's it called, Ipomea. That, guys, that right there, it's a big female too. Look at what she's doing. Like yeah. Focus. Huh. Wow, guys, that's a cool moth. I can't get any closer to it without it flying. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's a wasp moth and it's right there. And it's got orange bands on its abdomen. Looks just like a wasp. This is literally the only, only the second one I've ever seen down here, guys. Okay, Lorenzo, 
What'd you just see, buddy? Okay, don't don't run in this stuff. Okay, careful with your steps. It's not worth breaking your ankle. Okay. Big black butterfly looking thing, but it's actually a moth. Right now, guys, Faithful Beauties fly actually uh, at twilight. They like flying in late afternoon. So as you can see, the sun is starting to set here in Dade County. And this is when they start becoming active. So uh, Lorenzo just saw his first female uh, Faithful Beauty fly by. But little white dots, right? They don't play around, man. They book. And so hopefully we can see some more on the wing and show you what that looks like uh, and hopefully we can find some more caterpillars so let's see if we can find some more bud i'm glad you saw that now you get a some understanding of what to look for yeah. but dude this okay here's a vine right here you can see a vine it's growing you see how it, mm. it has these little curved leaves like this yeah, it looks like potatoes yeah and so it's it. so what we're gonna do is we're gonna look on the undersides of the leaves See if you see any clusters of, of yellow eggs or pink caterpillars. Yeah. Doesn't look like anybody's home there. Nope. And by the way, this, this plant right here is rough velvet seed. And that's the host plant for the Cuban Sphinx and oh. the half blind Sphinx. And it's loaded, it's loaded with it in here. I would imagine both of those moths live in this habitat. So maybe that's something we can look in the future about doing some lights in here and see if we can find some. Focused. What white things? Uh, those are berries of a plant that lives in the ground there. Are you filming? Yep. Yeah, man. I want to see a faithful beauty. I want to see Composia fidelissima on the wing. I want to show it to you guys. Can we find one, guys? Can we get one on film? We found two. We've actually seen two, but they were zipping by so fast that we were not able to get them. On the wing. Oh, I'm going to show you the seed pod, guys, of this plant. Well, here's a, here's a big plant right here. Okay, nothing home. All right, guys, check it out. This is the Composia's Fidelissima, the Faithful Beauty's host plant, and the seeds actually come off, and they actually look like like a they call it devil's potato because the seeds come off like this. Oh, Shh. dude, look, I got one. Don't be careful. You see him? <gasps> the pink larva? If they will drop right into the, the grass if you're not careful. So if we're, if we're gonna photograph them, we're gonna be super, super slick. But guys, that is a faithful beauty caterpillar. How cool is that, dude? amazing it's got pink with purple bands and it's an amazing it's an amazing creature. okay finally here is one growing on a tree and oh my goodness guys okay we've got a jackpot guys look at this there is a whole thing of caterpillars on the front and back side of this one leaf and up here there's an egg cluster right there guys so dude that is a jackpot. <gasps> jackpot. We are now careful. Don't don't drop off the plant. We are now filming faithful beauty eggs in the wild. Look at that. Look at that. And a whole cluster, a whole big cluster of caterpillars. Amazing, guys. This literally makes my day. You have no idea. Renzo. Way too long. Yeah, we, we walked out here for about an hour, and this is like the first, except for that one caterpillar is the first thing we've seen. So that is how you look for faithful beauty larvae 
in the wild, guys, there they are. They're right there, a whole big cluster. There's probably 40 of them on one leaf. And guys, score. We weren't able to show you any adults, but we showed you the habitat. We showed you the environment. Don't scare them off, they'll drop off the plant. Uh, but guys, hope you liked the video. Hope you learned something. Like, like, subscribe, share it with your friends. Guys, this is unbelievable stuff. This is what moth dreams are made of right there. Enjoy South Florida, guys. Take care.